Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you a very special photo editing software called Evoto AI. And yes, it is AI. And yes, it is really, really interesting. So let's go. Now I grew up in the 90s and back then the vision of AI and the future was, well, something like this. Hasta la vista, baby. But AI is here and it's here to stay and as photographers, well, we have to adapt at least to some degree. So with this software, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do face retouching and pretty much everything you need for a portrait photography edit. And at the end, we'll talk about the very special pricing mechanism that this software has and well, basically it's, it's free. So here we are in Evoto AI and the way it works here is, well, you create a project. So I'm going to start with the project. I'm going to name this one Miro Examples and then we can either load a single image or a whole folder. Now I have a few images already selected, so I'm going to just select my folder photos and the photos will be brought into the project. Now, as you can see, the layout is very simple. On the bottom, we have all of our imported photos. And you can rate these photos by just selecting one, going over here and just selecting the stars that you want this photo to have. Here on the left, we have the preset window, we have the masks window, and we have our history. So whatever we do with the photograph will appear here. Now the presets are a combination of color and exposure adjustments, plus the you know, retouching and face refinement tools that you have within Evoto AI and well, there's a lot of different things that you can use. Now with just this like one click, you can get a whole bunch of different good starting points to get you started. But let's just reset everything and you know, start from scratch. On the right side, you have your color adjustments. So these are the same typical color adjustments that you find on pretty much any editing software. So everything is very familiar. You have your exposure adjustments, your contrast, your highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity, everything that you need on the vibrance, saturation, you have curves, so you can adjust the curve separately on channels or as sliders, you have your HSL. You can do color grading, so the shadows, the midtones, the highlights or all of the above. And it's pretty much the same as if you're used to using Lightroom. It's well, I would say exactly the same tools over here. So let's just reset the whole history. Let's go here, delete everything and start from the beginning. Now, as with every smart photography editor, you have built-in auto adjustments, but here they are AI controlled and you can find them over here under AI color looks. So you have your neutral, your vivid, you know, all the different ones, and you can even open the panel over here, show all panels, and then you have both of them. So you can either choose to have the color panel or the AI adjustments, for both of them. So if I go with the neutral, this is going to adjust my photo based on the neutral AI preset. We can go with the vivid, with pure love, warm and cozy. These are good starting points to get you started with photo edit. And when you choose one AI adjustment, you can also choose how much the effect is applied. You can see the sliders over here. If I bump this up, everything goes more into the extreme. So basically what this does, it just sets your sliders here on the color adjustment. So it's a good starting point and it's based on what the photograph actually is showing. So typically I would start with the neutral one just to just kind of give me a nice balance, but of course I'm going to tweak it later on. So let's close this one. Now, one other thing that this does, it, it creates a mask. So here you have your person mask, which is Alex over here and I can control him separately or you can control the background. So once you apply these AI adjustments, you get this background person separation, which makes this software ideal for portrait photography. And this is what I'll be showing you today. Of course, you can do all the landscape photos as well, but most of the AI features are tailored for portrait photography. So to show you the full workflow in Evato AI, I'm going to choose this photo of the missus. Now, first of all, what I will do is use the neutral AI color adjustments. And this is really cool because then you get, of course, a mask. So the person and the background. I'm going to choose the person, take down the highlights a tiny bit. So just like this full image to have the adjustments affect the whole image then afterwards. And well, this is what I'm going to do at the beginning. So this is going to set my auto exposure. You can also see the neutral AI color look selected over here. Then I'm going to go into the portrait retouching section. So first of all, since the missus doesn't have a very smooth face, I'm going to just add freckle and acne 
removal. This is going to smooth out the skin just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go with the remove face shine. You can see here on the nose, things are going to be eased out a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go into the eye wrinkle removal. That's really important. So like this and dark circles. This is also going to be removed around the eyes. And then the smile line, this is going to make her look, well, a tiny bit younger. I'm gonna close this down, go into the skin retouching. And here I will use the smooth face skin with dodge and burn. Now dodge and burning means that you're brightening up or darkening down certain portions of the image, which areas need to be darker and which areas need to be brighter. So before and after. Face skin smoothing, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this to smooth out the skin, not too much. I'm not going to change the color of our skin. Skin radiance, just a tiny bit of this. Rosy complexion to bring a little bit of red into the skin. And then we go into the facial reshape. Now, this is one area which I find to be interesting. I don't really do this in my professional work, but I'll show you what you can do. So you can pretty much change the face of a person. So I can make her face thinner, can make this area over here thinner, cheekbones, the jawline, just a tiny bit. So small adjustments will bring you a long way. I can shrink the face a little bit, so not too much, just a tiny bit. Taper the face, can change the width of the face to make her look younger. Then I can change this area, middle section, on the lower section, I can taper the chin. I can reduce or increase the chin length. So maybe like this. I can change the hairline on top. So I'm not going to overdo it with this. And I can also apply the symmetry to the face, but she's not looking directly into the camera. So this is not going to work very well. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. Now to close this down, we go into the facial expression. This one is interesting because you can add a gentle smile. <laughs> this one is really, really nice. So just a tiny bit of this. I can do teeth retouching or touch up. Here Anya doesn't really show any teeth in this photo, but I'm going to show you here quickly with Alex. So if I change the pretty teeth, bam, and you have, you know, the Hollywood smile. I can even make the teeth wider. <laughs> <laughs> this one's quite interesting. Okay, so back to Anya. I'm going to work with her eyes. Now, Anya has bright blue eyes already, but I'm going to brighten them up a tiny bit more. So before and after. I'm going to remove the red veins here in her eyes, so not too much. Now you can see eyes are now cleaner. I'm not going to go too far with this. And what I can do, I can actually add a catch light. Now here, there is already a catch light in her eyes, but if there wasn't any, I can add this artificially. You can see here you have presets. You can change how much this is um, applied and you can choose the general or, or the indoor where you would have multiple light sources here since Anya already has a catch light I'm not going to use this so close this down and now we come to the fun part so makeup now this is something that I find really interesting and I'll show you I'm just going to go straight down to the presets where you already have some predefined makeup so pay attention to her face as I go through these <laughs> This is amazing. So I can actually make her wear makeup, give her some face artifacts over here, but I can also do this then manually. I can go into the eyebrows, change her eyebrows. So let's go with this one. I can change the eyeshadow so I can make her wear more eyeshadow makeup. So this would be pushing it a little bit too far. Something like this would be nice. Eyelashes, so I can change the eyelashes. I can actually add eyelashes to her face, so I'm just going to choose, I don't know, this one. It looks quite natural, it doesn't look like it's been added artificially, which is which is really something that I find very useful. I can change the color of her eyes, so green, you know, white, blue, different types of colors. So let's go with the green one, this one looks quite interesting. I can add a little bit of blush, this would be nice. I can change the color of the lipstick, and also I can change the texture of the lipstick, so glossy, you know, summer can change the amount of this so let's choose this one so contour actually this is the shading and the emphasizing of the shape of the face i'm not going to go too much with this but just a tiny bit maybe maybe this one and face decorations i can add all sorts of face decorations this one she doesn't have this but it looks quite interesting as an example and then underneath makeup you find hair now i've clearly overdone it over here and this is really just an example but with hair this is something that i would use well, quite often, you can close down the hair gaps, pay attention right over here and here. So everything that is opened up and where there's like a scalp see-through, you can fill this up artificially with hair. You can also change the, the shape of the top of the head. This is doing liquefy, so it's also affecting the background. So we don't want to do too much of this. 
I can change this right over here. And now we come to a really interesting section. You can see that there's a lot of stray hair in this photograph all around. And with pretty much one slider, if I go just to 50%, you will see how this everything goes away. So before and after. Now I find it really hard to express how valuable this tool is. And you can always go back and change things that you've already done. So for instance, I'm gonna take away this one. I think this looks a tiny bit better right now. And you can also affect the full body. So here I can actually change the shape of the body. I'm gonna leave it like this. I can you know, shrink the head shrink the neck i'm actually going to leave it and now we have to do something about the background this is a very non-clean background but actually we can change this we go under background and here if there is a solid background i can turn this on and Ivato ai will automatically detect if there is a solid background and if it needs any cleaning or reshading in this case it's a messy one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the headshot backdrop changer so i can literally just take away the background or add a different color to the background. Now I find this one for instance to be really useful. This looks like the photo has been shot in a studio. This one looks kind of nice. Now most importantly what I can do here is I can actually save this into a preset. I'm going to create a group first which I will call portraits and I'm going to name this preset the misses and I can choose the preset type. So a combination means that you can manually choose which settings you want to save in a preset or you have predefined like portraits, color, or AI color adjustments. Actually here I'm gonna go with combination and choose everything except the crop. So save this one. And now I can go into a different photo, go under presets, choose my presets, portraits folder, and use the misses. And there we go. So if I press the space bar before, and after, <laughs> she looks a lot younger. Now, personally, I would never go with such heavy edits on a person's face, and it's completely your choice as how far you want to go. So technically, I would just go without the facial reshape and maybe without the makeup, but everything else I find to be really practical and useful. And this is well before, and this is the after. Before, after. Now, once we're done with everything, we go under export, choose the destination where we want the photograph to be exported, and then click export. Now, when we export a photo for the first time, we get charged one credit, but I can completely redo this photograph and export it as many times as I want, and I'm not going to be charged extra for that. And how do you get the credits? Well, you can buy a subscription plan where you can get the credits for your photographs you have anything from just a few hundred all the way to a few thousand and of course the prices will vary the more credits you buy the cheaper the credit is going to be per photo so if you really want to do a lot of editing if you do thousands of photographs then it's worth maybe purchasing a plan which has more credits so therefore you have a bigger discount or the price for credit is going to be lower but if you use the link down in the description you will get 30 credits for free to use for your first 30 exports now as I said before you can export a photo as many times as you want with different edits and you only get credited the first time technically you can export just 30 different photographs and then of course if you like the software I do recommend that you try their subscription plan and I mean it's really amazing and I'm enjoying it a lot and it helps me out a lot with my portrait photographs with my event shots where there's usually people so I do recommend it if you guys have any comments or questions about this leave that down below and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and hit that like button for the algorithm it really does help so thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye